Hi, today we'll make a simple animation in which a ball of tangled wire will rotate around its z-axis and then move toward the camera along the y-axis until the camera is inside the ball. I'm going to use the 2.82 version of Blender. In particular, we're going to use the following. We're going to add curves using the extra objects add-on. We're going to use bound spline, the metallic material. We'll insert single keyframes. We'll align the camera to view and we'll see how to use parenting in the outliner. Now, before we start, let's delete the default queue. We're not going to use it. So X to delete, delete. And let's save this file. So Control S in a location of your choice. And let's name it, for example, tangled wire ball dot blend or whatever you want. Save and we're ready to go. First of all, add a UV sphere. Shift A, mesh, UV sphere and scale it as 5, enter. In the edit menu, over here, select preferences. Go to add-ons and check add curve extra objects and then you can close this window. If you now hit N on your keyboard, the Properties panel will open with the Create tab over here. In this tab, select Bound Spline. This is what you get. Now go to the Object Data tab of the curve over here and under geometry bevel set depth to 0 0.005 good this will do for our purposes in the outliner you can see that the bound spline object has been added this is what we need we don't need the original sphere anymore, so select it and delete it. Now hit N to close the properties panel. Add a new material to the ball. So select material new and drag the value of metallic all the way up to 1. Good. And go to rendered shading so that you can see it better. It's metallic. Now in the world tab over here, set the color to black. Good. Now select the light in the outliner and move it to the 3D cursor, which is at the center of the world. To do that, hit Shift S and select Selection to Cursor. Good. Now the light is inside the ball. Now with the light still selected, go to the Data Object tab which is this one, and set power to 5000 watts. And select a blue color, light blue color over here. Something like this will do. Now in the render tab over here, check bloom. 
This will add a nice effect to the ball. Now let's add some animation to our ball. I want it to rotate in a distance and then also move toward the camera until the camera is inside the ball. So select the ball, go to front view by pressing 1 on your NAMP pad. Now in the timeline, let's make it a bit bigger. Go to frame 1 if you're not there. I'm at frame 1 now. Now hit N to open the properties panel and go to the item tab over here and make sure the Z rotation is set to 0. Now right click the Z rotation and select insert single keyframe. This will insert a keyframe just for the Z rotation because we're only going to rotate the ball around the Z axis. Now the ball should be rotating during the whole animation so go to the last frame you can click over here and now you're at frame 250 which is the last frame and set the Z rotation to 90 and also right click to insert single keyframe now there are two single keyframes at the first frame and at the last frame now deselect the ball go to frame 1 and play the animation Fine. In the other animation, the ball should move toward the camera. Let's zoom out a bit so that the ball is a little farther away. Now select the ball and align the camera to view. To do that, go to the view menu over here, then select align view. Align active camera to view. And so this is now the distance the ball should be away from the camera at the beginning of the animation. Now you are ready to add the other animation. It should start near the middle of the timeline. So let's go to frame 120. Good. In the properties panel, Make sure Y location is set to zero. And it is set to zero. We're going along the Y axis toward the camera. Hover your mouse over the Y location slot over here. Right click and add a single keyframe. Just like we did before with rotation. Now go to the last frame, which you can do by hitting this button over here. And then hover your mouse cursor over the Y location slot over here and holding down the left mouse button, drag to the left until the ball is so close that the camera is inside it. Well, a value like negative 42 in this case will do. It may be different in your case. It depends on how far away from the camera the ball originally was. Anyway, enter the value that is fine for you, for example, negative 43, this will do. And insert another single keyframe, so right click, insert single keyframe, right. Now go to frame 1, deselect all, you can hit Alt plus A to deselect all and play the animation. Everything seems to be working fine except one thing. As the ball starts to approach the camera, the image gets darker and darker. This is because the light has been left behind. The easiest solution to that is to make the ball the parent of the light. 
Now, in the new versions of Blender, there is a very convenient way of parenting objects. You can do it in the Outliner. So, select the light in the Outliner, and then, holding down the Shift key, drag it onto Bound Spline. which is going to become the light's parent. If you now play the animation again, the ball should be correctly lit. So, go to frame 1, play. Now, as you can see, the light is now moving along with the ball. Well, we're done. Now it's time to render the animation, but first some settings. In the Output tab, over here, select a folder where you want to save your animation. So here you can select the folder where you want to save your animation. Fine. Now set the file format to FFmpeg video and under encoding set the container to MPEG4. Good. Now save the file and make a test render. You can now move this cursor to frame like 160 or 220, depends which image you want to render. Let's say something like this. Render, render image. Fine. If you're satisfied, you can close it. You can now render the animation. So go to render, render animation, and this will take a while naturally. So, I'm going to pause the video now, and I'll show you the animation when it's done. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, Welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.